it looks as though President Obama has 247 electoral votes. You need to win Virginia and North Carolina. What is the case for taking this man as your running mate? You'll have to talk to the political pundits about that because I'm just not getting into the vice presidential sweepstakes. I've got a terrific person who's helping manage that process and doing the vetting for me. Her name is Beth Myers. We've worked together for quite a few years. And uh, I, I don't know the political calculation, but my own view is that the person who's selected as a VP nominee is someone who people should look at and say, this person could be president. And uh, there are a number of people in our party who fit that bill. The governor is certainly one of them. There are many, many uh, very qualified people in our party. Governor? If he calls you, do you go? Hey, you know, when you got the job held by Jefferson and Henry, uh, you're thrilled with the job that you've got. What, what I do believe is we need to change America, and Mitt Romney's the one to do it, and I can help uh, help him win Virginia. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. His message on jobs and spending and economic development is what we need to hear. He has to win Virginia, yes. He's going to win Virginia. I interviewed Vice President Joe Biden first part of uh, April. He said, Mitt Romney and all the Republican candidates are quite frankly out of touch with social issues, foreign policy, and I think they are out of touch with middle class Americans. What do you want to say to that, sir? Well, I think uh, I and a lot of other people are out of touch with Barack Obama. Uh, the policies of this president have meant that you have some 23 million Americans, 23 million out of work or stop looking for work or are way underemployed. You've had a record number of foreclosures. This recession has gone on so long that it's affected women even more than it has men. As a matter of fact, since the president's been in office, 92% of the people who've lost their jobs have been women. So th this has been a presidency that's been out of touch with the needs of the American people. The statistic they're throwing around is that there have been 25 straight months of private sector job growth. Isn't that good? <laughs> well, you know, it, it, they're looking desperately to try and, uh, and, and, and gild this, uh, this very bad uh, uh, setting over the last three and a half years. You've seen unemployment above 8% for 38 straight months. And when the president put in place his stimulus, he said he'd hold it below 8% by borrowing the $787 billion he borrowed. He has not had it below 8% since. 38 straight months of people in this country having tough times. And, and if the president thinks that the people of this country are feeling that things are going well, he needs to get out and talk to more people because the people I talk to are having a hard time. Christian conservatives have been slow to respond to your campaign. Do you think it's because you're a Mormon? What do you think it is that you haven't been able to connect with the Christian right? You know, I've got great support from evangelical voters, a number of states that uh, we had primaries in. I was the leading contender, received more votes than anyone else among evangelicals and those that called themselves conservatives. So I think we're doing pretty well, but we can always afford to do better. Because I, I read about Michelle Bachman and how important it is for her to endorse your campaign because she's so strong with evangelical Christians and uh, the Tea Partiers. We've, we've come together. I, I know there will be a narrative perhaps to that degree, but you know, I've seen in some of the polls that are being done that something like 90 or 91 percent of Republicans are supporting my campaign. And by the way, the president gets a smaller share of his party than I get of my party. So, uh, of course, I want all the, the elements of our party to come together and support me, but uh, I also have to get those folks that uh, are the undecideds, the, uh, the independent voters, women voters, Hispanic voters, young people. I've got to get them, too. Hey, Andy, that's just a mischaracterization uh, anyway. I think uh, now that the campaign, uh, the internal family feud is over, people are going to rally in big time behind uh, Mitt Romney. The, the real battle is for the independents. And you know what they care about? They care about jobs and the economy. They care about this crushing national debt, and they want a strong leader. And all three of those, Mitt Romney's vision versus Barack Obama's record is a great win for us. Good. And my last question. Of all, when I talk to people, I say, what is your biggest problem with Mitt Romney? And they say... Don't ask them that. Just say, what's well, the best thing about Mitt Romney? Come on. I want to ask you this question. I want to give, <laughs> yeah. give you an opportunity to respond. Okay, good, good, yeah, yeah, exactly. Your critics that I have talked to say that you care too much about your money, your success, and your connections. Do you think you need to be more humble? You know, what I care about is the American people, and the reason I'm in this race is to try and help middle-income Americans have a better future and a bright future. I'm concerned that my kids and my grandkids are facing an America where the job opportunities are too few, where incomes are not rising, and where people are concerned that the future will not be as bright as the past. You, and and, I, and I'm, I'm in this race to help, to help the American people. Do you think that the, all these things are untrue about what they say about you? Absolutely. Yeah, let me verify that. Listen, if I was running for president, I had an 8.2% unemployment rate for 38 months, and I'd added $5 trillion to the national debt to get it to the highest <laughs> in American history. Excuse me. And I had no plans for energy. 
I can make chokes me up too. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'd be talking about something else too. And that's why these are bogus arguments. People are going to vote on the economic issues. Mitt Romney's right on that. He's got the track record in the public and private sector, and that's why we're going to win. And you were with him at the start? Well, in the middle. No. But I'm with him as he could be. <laughs> <laughs> as <I> could. <laughs> there you go. Thank you hey, thank you. Thank All right. You. Thank Thanks, Andy. Thanks.